triple and stock. Another interesting read that went down 3% year to date. And the thing that people like about this stock is that they pay a 5.3% dividend yield and that they have been increasing that dividend over 33 years. That's pretty impressive if you ask me. However, if we look at the 5 year return including dividends, we see that triple N returned only a shy 1% versus the 103% for the S&P 500. So could this be the perfect time to buy triple N stock? Well, by the end of the video I will give you my 3 price targets, so make sure to stay tuned and see how I build up to these price targets. I'm very excited to see what you guys think about this stock, so please let me know your thoughts in the comments. My name is Thomas and this is Thomas Invest. I'm an investor looking for great stocks at great prices. So what does Triple N do? Triple N is a real estate investment trust that invests in and develops in properties throughout the United States. The company generates revenue from leasing properties to tenants including convenience stores, automotive services, fitness centers, theaters, restaurants and banks. Diving into the most recent investor presentation of May, we see that Dividend is on their top of their list with 5.3%. And the thing that really impressed me here is that occupancy rate is at 99.4%. That's a high number and this comforts me a lot. They also invested 124 million, which is also a good sign. They keep on growing their portfolio. Dividend payout ratio also looks really good at 67%. The average is around 75%, so they're actually a little under that. Looking at the diversification, we see that in total, Triple M has 3,546 properties with 385 plus tenants. Texas has by far the most properties with 552, followed by Florida with 282. And the interesting thing here is that the top 20 tenants are responsible for 48% of the total rent. That's a pretty big number. I would love to see a slightly lower number here, but nothing that worries me big time. And as mentioned earlier, the occupancy rate is pretty impressive. It's significantly higher versus competitors, but also pretty steady over a longer period of time. Looking at the weighted average lease term stats, I also get a bit excited with more than 50% expiring after 2033. However, the average lease term is at only 10 years. Historically, tenants renew 85% of expiring leases, so we should be good here. What is also interesting is the fact that Triple N managed to outperform almost every index in a period of 20 to 30 years. Well, in the short run, it is really beaten up, easily by almost every index. And now that we know a bit more about the company, it is time to check the fundamentals of this stock. But first, if you made it this far into the video, I want to thank you a lot for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to receive multiple analysis every week. And also join my Discord channel for free to meet other people within the community and to talk about stocks. It's completely free, so don't miss it out. Let's continue with diving into the fundamentals. Triple M is a 7.7 .7 billion market cap company. PE ratio is not a fair metric to use with REITs, so I'll be using the price to FFO instead. Right now it is sitting at 12.9, indicating they might be undervalued. Later in this video I will show you my 3 price targets for Triple N stock, so make sure to watch until the end because price to FFO is only telling a small part of the full story here. Revenue is at 839 million and in this graph we see that revenue went up in the long run. It has to be said that for REIT it is growing really steady and consistent. We see that margins are going up over a longer period of time, which is looking really good to me. Especially the net margin is looking impressive over a longer period of time. EPS is showing similar trends as the margin and revenue. For read it looks pretty good. Analysis have mixed feelings about the EPS growth. It doesn't look too exciting to me to be honest. Especially with a minus 5% growth in 2024 and almost no growth in 2025. In 2026 it is expected to increase at a decent 7.6% again. 
For the revenue it is looking also very interesting, with mid single digit growth expectations for the upcoming two years. But after that it is expected to report a flat number in 2026, only to increase 11% in 2027 again. Return on assets is sitting at 4.6%, which is a decent number for a read. Return on equity looks pretty good, and the most important number, return on invested capital, is sitting at 4%, which is a low number, even for a read. It is higher than the 5 year average, so that's the positive part here. Current ratio is at 0.51, which is a decent number for a read. Historically, it doesn't look that good to me, so definitely keep an eye on this number. Right now, Triple N has 4.35 billion in debt. I prefer companies that can pay down at least a big chunk of their total debt with the total cash. Triple N has 1 million in total cash, so they can't pay down a big chunk of their total debt. This is something that I don't like. So it is very important that free cash flow is growing, since this is used to pay down debt of course, but also to buy back shares, pay dividends and all other things. And here we see that free cash flow is going up in the long run, which is a great thing. Shares outstanding are increasing, which is very common for a REIT, since they increase shares to raise capital. But when shares outstanding are decreasing, it increases your ownership in the company, increases the EPS, lowers the PE ratio and makes it easier to maintain and increase the dividends. And since we're talking about dividends anyways, dividend yield is sitting at 5.3%, which is a great number. And it will pay us at $2.26, and payout ratio is around 69%, which is below the 75% average for REITs. The 5 year growth rate is at 2.5%, which is a low number. But they increased the dividend for 33 years in a row, which is really impressive. And here we see the dividends paid since 2014. And to me, this looks really good. Triple N really likes to increase the dividends at a low rate, but over a longer period of time, this really adds up. In this graph, we see the expected dividends in 2024, 2025, and 2026. Of course, this is an estimation and can be highly impacted by results, but it gives you a rough indication. It is expected to grow at a historical rate from here. And overall, these dividends look pretty good to me. But how about the historical returns? I decided to compare triple N stock with the overall market. In this case, the S&P 500. Next to that, I added ADC and Realty Income. On the 5 year chart, we see that triple N only returns 1%, and this is including dividends. The S&P 500 did return 103%, massively outperforming all stocks in this list. On the one year chart it looks pretty interesting, with the S&P 500 again beating all stocks in this list. The three REITs are all having significant lower returns. And there is no denying that REITs are facing tough times with all the rates and stuff. On the six month chart it is again the same story with the S&P 500 massively outperforming everyone in this list. On the one month chart it is again the same story. So bottom line, the S&P 500 was by far the better investment in the past 5 years, no matter when you started investing. But could this be the perfect time to buy triple N stock? Well, let's check the 3 price targets that I created using the Everything Money software, which is one of the best tools out there. I'm using a low, mid and high assumption to get the 3 price targets. For the revenue growth I'm filling in 5, 6 and 7%. Based on the stock of performance, their own outlook, but also because of the analysis. For the profit margin, I'm filling in 46, 48, and 50 percent. And for the free cash flow margin, I'm putting in 72, 74, and 76 percent. For the PE ratio, I'm putting in 20, since it is a read. And for the price of free cash flow, I'm putting in 10, 12, and 14. My desired annual return is 12.5%, since I can get an easy 10% average annual return with owning an ETF. Right now, Triple N stock is around $42. I hit analyze, and we see a few green numbers. And since this is a read, I'm only focusing on the discounted cash flow value. We have a low price target of $38, we have a mid price target of around $46, and we have a high price target of $54. And to me, the mid price target is the most justified here, 
indicating that this stock is undervalued. Please let me know the price target that you think is the most justified in the comments down below. My final conclusion on Triple N is that it is a very reliable read. They are performing really consistent on any aspect of the business. Most fundamentals look really good to me, and that's what I also like so much about this company. However, looking at the 5 year return I don't really get excited. From a dividend point of view things look really good, with a high dividend yield and a great historical track record. From a value point of view things also look pretty interesting. I do think they are undervalued, which is also the reason why I put them on my watch list. I'm not buying right now, since my read position is getting too big, and I want to expand in other areas first. And remember to always do your own research and never fully trust on what I or other YouTubers say about a stock. I'm not a financial advisor and this content is just for entertaining purposes only. I hope you liked this video and I did bring some insights of the company to you. I would really appreciate a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to get notified when I'm posting a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.